are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 21st of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cool and refreshing through tomorrow. Rain comes back later this week as Tropical Storm Beta moves into the Texas coast, curving up this way. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country. A couple of tropical systems on the board. First off, Teddy's out in the Atlantic, east of Bermuda. And Beta is near the Texas coast. And the main westerly is a bit north of here and kind of wavy, a series of waves in the, in the flow there. That was the radar this morning early, about 445. We had some light rain over the immediate Gulf Coast. That's the outer fringe of Beta. Uh, it was very light rain there. The rest of the state, uh, cool and dry. 54 for Gadsden to start the day. 56, Aniana and Coleman, Haleyville. 59 for Anniston, Alexander City at 58. We'll see highs in the upper 70s today. There's the watch warning map. We've got flash flood watches for the Texas coast and parts of South Louisiana because of beta. Freeze warnings in effect for parts of New England. A marginal risk of severe storms around Houston, Lake Charles, Port Arthur, Beaumont today with beta. Pretty much the same thing tomorrow. And on day three, no organized severe weather is expected with beta is the air should be probably too stable for a tornado threat. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west is dry except for the Pacific Northwest where they're going to see a lot of rain there. Down here, rain amounts between two and three inches for the north, maybe a little over three inches in spots, one to two inches for the south. And we'll see rain coming back later this week and over the weekend at times. So the tropics, things are calming down. Uh, no waves coming off the African coast of interest. Uh, we've got the ghost of Paulette, that uh, area with a 60% chance of regenerating. That's up in the northeast Atlantic moving away. Uh, we've got Hurricane Teddy. We've got Tropical Storm Beta, and Wilfred has dissipated. Uh, first off, Teddy, a large hurricane in terms of size. Uh, the top winds continue to decrease a bit, down to 100 miles an hour. And uh, this will be passing a little east of Bermuda today. Got a tropical storm warning for the island because they could see tropical storm force wind gusts, but the big effect will be east of there. Then it comes up as a post-tropical system toward Nova Scotia and the Canadian Maritimes later this week. Uh, not even close to the, the United States, but still producing a lot of uh, uh, rough surf on the eastern seaboard. And Beta looks pretty ill uh, this morning. This is not a well-organized tropical storm, certainly not going to be a hurricane. Uh, top winds are at 50 miles per hour, moving to the west at 6. And this thing is basically going to hug the upper Texas coast and then move through uh, Louisiana and ultimately into western Mississippi, and by the time it reaches Mississippi Thursday night, it's going to be post-tropical, just a remnant low. Uh, this is the uh, direct rain from Beta. And some of the bigger numbers on the Texas-Louisiana coast between 4 and 6 inches, maybe a few spots getting more than that. But the good news, the numbers have been coming down for places like Houston. They can manage that. And you can see those darker shades of green. That's uh, in excess of 2 inches over North Alabama down the line later this week. So let's look at the GFS. This is the 06E run at 4 o'clock today. Uh, the westerlies have shifted up north, but it certainly hit, did deliver some cool air that we enjoy this morning. There's the surface chart. Beta's on the Texas coast. The rain shield with the system over Mobile and Baldwin counties. The rest of the state dry, mostly sunny today with a high in the upper 70s and low humidity. Very nice day. Tomorrow, the first official day of autumn, Again, main, uh, rain mainly confined to southwest Alabama, the rest of the state dry, partially sunny, mid-70s. Temperatures well below average. Wednesday, beta creeps closer. Rain beginning to move into west Alabama. For most of the state, the uh, better chance of rain begins Wednesday night. But again, if you're in west Alabama, you could see some rain during the day Wednesday. And then Thursday looks to be relatively wet, cloudy, rain at times throughout the day. Temperatures only in the low 70s. And again, uh, the air should be cool and stable and uh, with the low weakening, we don't expect a tornado problem, just rain throughout the day. Friday, still looks pretty wet, cloudy, periods of rain. 
Winds veer to the south. We'll start to see a warm-up. We'll be close to 80 Friday afternoon. It's not going to rain all day, but rain will be around. And also some rain Friday night for the high school football game. So keep that in mind. Saturday will be a showery kind of day. Again, not just a steady all-day rain, but rain from time to time. Uh, warm, humid with low 80s. And Sunday, we're still wet. The high close to 80. Got a cold front approaching. It could be some thunder. Don't expect any severe weather. And this is a week from today, Monday the 28th. Ooh, look at the trough in the east, ridge in the west. Another nice, cool, dry air mass drops in here. So at this point, the weekend looks a little unsettled. Occasional rain, maybe some thunder, and then a new surge of refreshing air Monday. Let's go out 10 days, Wednesday of next week, the 30th of September. Ridge in the west, trough up in the northeast. And again, that looks very nice. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, uh, right around three inches. Some of the members go over eight inches. But you always look for the mean with the ensemble output. And temperatures, highs in the 70s through Thursday. Low 80s for the weekend, then back in the 70s early next week. And the new CPC outlook for September 28th through October 4th. Temperatures below average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.